Hey Angel Nation, we are here with Mirkwood and Lorian, our precious little beagle babies. And I'll give everybody just a few seconds to join us. I know we're all anxiously awaiting an update from Dr. Smith. We're so grateful to have these babies here and have them in our care. I know they've got lots and lots of prayers and thoughts going out for them today. Really just heartbreaking. This is one of the saddest things I've ever seen. So Angel Nation, we're here with Dr. Marcus Smith at Chattahoochee Animal Clinic. This is one of our vet's offices that we use. And here on top, we have Lorian. She's the little girl. You can see just how, how pitiful she looks. Um, and she's sort of the protector of the group. She's the, she's the leader. And then here's her brother, who's actually the one who was seizing in the video that we showed you earlier, and he's in much worse condition. Um, so I wanna give you a shot of what his body looks like. And for those who don't know us, or maybe you're just joining, we're a rescue based in the metro Atlanta area, and these dogs have already received care. They've already been on IVs. They've gotten all the medicine that they can have right now. And we wanted to just give you guys an update so that you could see how they're doing, but we are not keeping them from any care whatsoever. So now I just wanna introduce you guys to Dr. Smith, who is the vet taking care of them. So Dr. Smith, can you tell us what we're working with here? Well, we just found out um, a lot of the blood work results now. Um, and, and these guys are um, you know, extremely debilitated. Uh, what you see on the surface is what's happening on the inside. Uh, we have a se pretty severe anemia or low red blood cell count. Um, we also have an elevated kidney value and some and low protein. A lot of this comes from malnourishment, uh, probably extreme parasitism or parasites in the gut uh, are causing a lot of these uh, problems. Uh, the muscle wasting is uh, tremendous uh, and that's causing them the inability to basically walk without assistance plus the anemia uh, just think of that as, as gas to, to their engine and uh, without it they're not able to go anywhere and, and that's also causing these, these big issues but um, really tonight the focus is going to be on aggressive care uh, both of these pups I think are going to need uh, blood transfusions uh, with just the severe anemia that they have um, they're, they're also going to need to be continued on IV fluids, um, you know, just a lot of aggressive supportive care. Uh, feeding, the first question everyone's going to ask is give them food, give them food because they're just so emaciated. But we have to take our time with that because uh, they can get a refeeding syndrome which is actually uh, more harmful than good. Um, plus their bellies will bloat which makes them uncomfortable. So we, we need to restore electrolyte normalcy, we need to restore uh, red blood cell count. Um, first um, and then feeding them small frequent meals 